78, one molecule of hemoglobin will combine with four molecules of oxygen. If 1.0 grams of hemoglobin combines with 1.53 milliliters of oxygen at body temperature, which is 37 degrees Celsius, and a pressure of 743 torr, what is the molar mass of hemoglobin? Okie dokie. So in this case, I'm, I'm looking and I don't really see a balanced equation, right? Usually if they give us two compounds, hemoglobin, and we have the molecule oxygen, I'll try to make a balanced equation out of this. But the only thing that they said was that one molecule of hemoglobin will combine with four molecules of oxygen. I guess I'll keep that in the back of my head. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to have one section for hemoglobin and the other section for the oxygen. Now remember, oxygen is a diatomic, so that's O2. Okay. Now, they did tell us that we had a mass of the hemoglobin, so I know that I have an M value here of 1.0 grams. Beautiful. And now they're giving me information about the oxygen. They told me that I have a volume of oxygen, right? So V equals 1.53 milliliters. Now they have this volume of oxygen at a certain temperature. So they go together. So with this volume of oxygen, it's at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 743 torr. Okay, so 743 torr. Now the whole thing is that we want to find the molar mass of hemoglobin. Okay, so remember, molar mass, the formula for molar mass, or you could always get it from the units, right? If we look at the molar mass units, it's gram per mole. And that's exactly what you would have to do. Literally, take your grams, and maybe I will say, maybe I'll represent this by H, uh, B. Usually they call hemoglobin HB. H in front and then B for the bin. So hemoglobin HB. So I would take the grams of HB and divide it by the moles of HB, hemoglobin. They gave us a gram value. They told us that we had 1.0 grams. Well, I can just easily find that molar mass if I knew how many moles of HB I had. But they didn't tell us that. So that's where the tricky part comes in. We have to find the moles of the hemoglobin. That's the question mark of the day. <laughs> how are we going to find that? Well, let's now go over to the oxygen's corner. Let's see. They give us a volume, temperature, and pressure. So chances are I'm going to have to use a gas formula here. There's no sets, so and they're just volume, temperature, and pressure. So chances are I'm going to have to use the ideal gas law, which is this one, right? And maybe I will put it right here. Now let's see. Remember, the R is the gas constant, 0 0.0821, but the units are very, very specific. It's ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So these four units are the only units that are allowed in this formula. So the pressure, if we're going to use P for pressure, it has to be an ATM. And for the oxygen, oh boy, they gave it to us in TOR. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly convert from TOR to ATM. Maybe I'll pull this over here. Now how do I go from TOR to ATM? Well remember, 1 ATM equals 760 TOR. So the easiest thing to do is if you have to go from TOR to ATM, all you're going to do is just divide by 760. If you wanted to go from ATM to TOR, you would times by 760. So let's do that conversion right now. 743 divided by 760. Now since this is not the answer, I'm not going to round right off the bat. I'm going to try to extend some decibels. So I'll say 0 0.9... 7763. And maybe I'll pull this ATM down here. So 0.97763 ATM. 
and now I have the pressure. The V volume has to be in liters. And oh boy, they gave me milliliters. So I'm going to have to convert again. Milliliters to liters. Well, that was easy. You could just divide by 1,000. Or you could take the decimal and move it three times to the uh, left. So I'm just going to quickly just plug it into my calculator just so that I have the number ready to go when I do more calculations just so that it's quicker. So in this case, I get 0 0.00153. Let me maybe extend this out a little bit. 153. And now I have the volume. Well, the end value is the moles. And they didn't tell me that. So I don't have this. The R value I have and the T value is in Kelvin. But uh-oh, they gave it to me in Celsius. So I have to convert from Celsius to Kelvin. Celsius to Kelvin is just plus 273. But you can, you know, plus 273.15. But this should be good enough. 37 plus 273 is 310. And now I have the temperature in Kelvin. Okay. So here, I'm just going to be solving for N. So let me just pull this up just so that I have a little bit more room to work with down here. So working from left to right. And maybe, actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll just work over here. Okay, so pressure is 0.97763 times by the volume of 0 0.00153. And I think I'm going to get a little bit. There we go. I think we're good. Let's see. This equals x times 0 0.0821 times by the temperature of 310. Seems like I want to solve for x. So on both sides, I'm just going to divide by the R and the T value. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.0821. And I'll just do that over here, 0 0.0821. And then the temp, 310, 310. So on this side, these go bye-bye. And now I'm left with X, which is, remember, the moles of the oxygen. So let's see. 0.97763 times 0 0.00153 divided by 0 0.0821 and then divided again by 310. And once again, it's not the final answer, so try not to round as much. This would be 5.87707 times 10 to the negative fifth moles of the oxygen. Okay. So now, pause the video. I just need to get rid of this. But it's going away. But there we go. Now, I have the moles of oxygen, but somehow I have to take that to moles of the hemoglobin. Well, now we go back to the first sentence. They said that for every one mole, well, one molecule of hemoglobin, we'll combine with four moles of oxygen. So if I just write a ratio, one mole, or we could say molecule, but it's basically the same thing as moles, right? For every one mole of hemoglobin, it would combine with four moles or molecules of O2. So let's see if this equals something else, right? I already know the moles of O2. That's going to go on this side. So 5.87707 times 10 to the negative fifth. And now we're solving for what is the moles of hemoglobin when I have this amount of moles of oxygen. Well, it's a 1 to 4 ratio. So technically, I would have to times by 4 to get to from 1 to 4. So if I go backward, I would divide by 4, right? And if that's what you did on the left-hand side, that's exactly what you're going to do 
on the right-hand side. What you also could have did was cross-multiply solve for x. That's fine as well. So 5.87707 times 10 to the negative 5th divided by 4. And now I find out the moles of the hemoglobin. And I'll, I guess I'll just put it over here. We got 1.46927. That's good enough. Times 10 to the negative fifth moles. And that's now the number that goes here. So there we go, guys. Molar mass equals something divided by something else. We knew that the top was going to be 1.0, and now the bottom is that number, 1.46927 times 10 to the negative fifth. And let's figure it out. So this equals 1 divided by 1.46927 times 10 to the negative fifth. Big, 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 big compound. But it's, it's a huge molecule. It's a huge organic molecule in our body. And now I'm looking and I see that I have two sig figs. So I'll give it back in two sig figs as the lowest sig fig number. Nobody really cares, but, you know, just in case. 6.8 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. And remember, molar mass is gram per mole. And that's it. That's the molar mass. Not too bad, guys. Hopefully this helps. Woohoo! Okay, a little biology coming in here, talking about hemoglobin binding with oxygens in the red blood cells. Hopefully one day we'll get to biology so I can help you guys out there too. Um, but thank you so much. If you guys are in physics or in math, we can help you right now. So go check the channel out. We got physics videos, we got algebra, uh, pre-calculus, geometry, and trigonometry. So go check the channel out. We might be able to help you in other subjects. All right? I hope you're doing well, and good luck to you on your future tests and quizzes. I'll rooting for you. See you later. Bye-bye.